is <laughs> making me make choices which are not keeping me away from this, that which is the most valuable to me. Then, this is because our, the, the situations present and they what take you away. The, the situation will arise. So many times people tell me that. Oh, I was about to come. Every time for every retreat, without an exception. People always ask me, they said, how many people are coming? I said, in fact, I don't know. Because last minute, there are so many changes. People who were supposed to come didn't come. People who were not coming came up. <laughs> it's all like that. You have an intention. There is no guarantee that that intention will materialize. But if it is a pure intention, usually it does materialize. So that means, but still there is a test. Mm -hmm. There is a test in the universe to your commitment. That means something may come up, but then if you value it more, that means your commitment is seen, then you will still make that choice. But if your commitment is not so the same, you will easily get swayed away. Mm -hmm. That is how it is. So that means that Papa can also kick in, okay. in you are here, but somehow what? Not able to. Not able to. Papa can also kick in. You are here, but you are still operating from your own fantasy world. You are not able to get it. Papa can happen in form of what? Papa, so all of us, almost all of us had physical injuries during our course. All of us. We fell down, we had fractured something. We All, all of us. Without an exception, <coughs> Papa has to kick in because you have come with both. You can't have only Punya and Punya and Punya. Then he'll kick in. All of us had a very difficult time emotionally because everything which was suppressed all starts coming out. All, all Punya and Papa kicking in. For, there is no exception. Please understand. Sometimes people were freaking out during the course. If you have suppressed too much, you go mad. Your mind is just not able to absorb. It's just too, the strength of this knowledge is just too much. Too much. That's why you can't make fun of it. You can't take it lightly. It will destroy you. I mean, I don't want to create fear. But what I'm saying is, it will, you know, that reverence has to be there. You can't just treat it like a fun thing. You can't. It is detrimental to your interest. It's not something to be made fun of. So that means you have to be very careful. In the Ishwara in order, don't mess with it. It's not a matter of fear. Mm -hmm. So therefore, this is how what this is the, 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 the papas are kicking in. Now you want what you need to, he said, all and then there is external. External means Adi Bhautika. Adi Bhautika is what? The environment. Environment means in our course, the biggest thing was there were elephants coming in. The wild elephants were coming and it's true. Anikati. Anikati. Ani name is a preserve. Yeah. yeah. So that means the, the wild elephants means that they can what pick you up and they can tuck and they are gone. Why? They are not uh, these trained elephants. They are wild Next elephants. <laughs> so every so in the mango season they all come because they are nice mangoes and they all come to eat mangoes and at night because 
it's a jungle, it's a forest. You don't what you don't see. You don't see very well this black thing one time. This is what really happened, and it happened just outside our cottage. What happened is there was this movement from Mauritius and our cottage is like a little bit on top and there are Same. series of steps which are then what um, leading to another set of cottages. So she was just walking on this uh, cottage and then she was you know like after dinner so she was quite absorbed in her own kind of you know just looking and down. She looked up and there was some something very black and she saw and it was an elephant. She started shivering and she ran and the, the closest cottage was our cottage. So she came running and she knocked on our door and she was like shaking. She, she saw elephant like, like this. And it is just like one pick, the, the elephant can pick you and... Thankfully she is not wearing yellow dress. Huh? I thought it was mango. Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so the, then there are cobras. There were cobras. Yeah. All are the forest area. Forest area. You are living in a forest. <laughs> that means anything can happen one time during Surya's course. These are all real <laughs> events. It's a fact. As Surya's course, there were wild boars. Yeah. And one Brazilian guy. <laughs> Boar is a pig's wild fish. Boar. 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 The boar kind of, uh, you know, ran and banged into him. He fell down and he had multiple fractures. Who, Surya? No, not me. No, the Brazilian. The Brazilian ah. guy. And his knee was badly his injured. Knee, it took yeah. several months for him to recover. to recover. I mean, I don't want to scare you, but uh, this is this is how it is. And then Obstacles. very simple things also. You just walk, and uh, I mean, it's uh, there are some paths. And what happened? You twist your ankle, twist your ankle. you fall. So that was like common. Yeah. Like so you're saying that the number of um, obstacles is commensurate to your sort of the path in your credit system. Yeah. Wow. So that means it constantly. So why I'm saying this in prayer of Rudra? I'm not saying it to scare you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> saying it. I just so I don't How want to say it. it. <laughs> No, no, no. Wherever no, so really you learn, all these possibilities are all there. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's but this is all real events. Don't say no because it has happened. No, because she said her consequence is not to go there. Ah, so no, 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 now, as Gabi is saying, not, not to go there, I'll never go there. Yeah. What, the conclusion is, wherever you go, mm -hmm. you can't avoid Papa. <laughs> that it, some form of things will come up. Like that is flying for cancer. But if you had not decided to come, it would have been But he decided to come. He still decided. His priority was there. So that means that 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 is a test. I came to her pool in the night that my flight is cancelled. You see, exactly. So crazy. Absolutely. It is amazing. But somebody would have decided not to come. Yeah, exactly. Like and like it's amazing. Adi Bhautika means Rajan last year was going to come with his friend. And his friend was from Chennai. And uh, uh, so the, everybody was coming and all that. The, the day before, uh, there were, you remember there were floods in Chennai? Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. Yeah. was on bad floods. The whole Chennai was under uh, the oh, water. Yeah. He couldn't come. For over his flight years. got cancelled. But you so. came. But he came because he's from Bangalore. He lives in that. My papa didn't kick in that. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
what I am saying is there is what Adi Bhautika. Then there is Adi Daivika. Adi Daivika means what? Good news. <laughs> no, no. Oh, not. All these are obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> so you want Shanti from all these three. In fact, these are always a possibility. So before every class, pray, you pray. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So that means three Shantis because there is always a possibility that any obstacle can kick in from any of the three sources. The third is Adi Daivika. Adi Daivika means what? Now imagine this year there was a course that so many people wanted to attend because Swamiji was getting old. They thought this is now the only chance. One year within the course and Swamiji is gone. Who has what control? Tell me. Adi Daivika. Daivika forces. People hurried up. They left everything because they didn't want to make a ch uh, miss a chance of learning with a master. Who nobody can control. There we come. So people found themselves in the course but not being able to learn with him. They have given up so many things to be there. You are sitting in the class, but your mind is <laughs> somewhere else. Or if you have not taken care of your Pratipandakas, by the time uh, the, the words reach you, you have created a different picture. All these are Daivikas. They are not really actively under your control. So, our teacher used to say, this is always a possibility for each one of you who is attending the course. This is just too much of a punya. So therefore, he used to say, there is, then you only feel helpless and you only feel scared. So now, how do you make that, recognize that there are these possibilities because they are there. Of obstacles, but you use your free will to what offset those uh, that is through prayer. You the, the sankalpa of a prayer is let me what stay here, let there not be any obstacle to my learning, make it obstacle free. As much as possible. As much as possible. And if there are obstacles, give me what lucidity to deal with it. This is, he said, there is one prayer which is extremely powerful and that is Rudra. Rudra. He said, all of you. I mean, he was not at all a person of rule. He was just a too free a person to give you this set of rules and, to, uh, and say, okay, now you have to do this and you have to do that. It was not like that at all. He was just amazingly evolved human being. But he said, one thing that I request all of you to do is to chant Rudra. Because otherwise it is like you are here and you know, it's like you are at the river, but you still can't drink the water. We are already there wanting to learn and we still can't learn because obstacles are kicking in. But this really happens. I know people who have gone on pilgrimages and not been able to kind of move forward. And yeah, it's bizarre. absolutely. It's bizarre. It's, it's amazing. Today one guy told me in the morning when I was walking back from after a bath, the local person, he said, Every day you are swimming. I have been here for so many years, I have never gone into the Ganga. Imagine. God knows what is the problem. Huh? What is the problem? I don't know why, but I know never oh, go to the Ganga. Ah, yeah. And he saying, you are a great Punya. He is telling me that. You are a Punya. You are a stay here and you have not been good to the Ganga. Absolutely. So that means, these prayers are very... This Rudra prayer is exactly... People say, what is this Rudra? 
that force of destruction that you are so afraid, now you have to embrace it and you have to use it to help yourself. This is the idea. It's a very astonishing idea. It is an astonishing idea. So, that is how you grow. You grow. Yeah? So, so here he says, now, the general thing is, one has to actually move from uh, the, uh, the destruction. So, as I told you, first you have to recognize that force and force of destruction and which is what that is there and you have to embrace it and use it for your advantage. But second thing is what that force itself is nothing but what Ishwara. So in that force of destruction you have to see what all knowledge and all power. That is the uh, that is Ishwara. So the next verse is saying that this force of destruction itself is what manifestation of Ishwara. So here it is says, Vishwataha Chakshuhu, Vishwataha Mukaha, Vishwataha Bahuhu, Vishwataha Path, Saha Bhakubhya, Dhamati, Sampata, Trivitha Bhumi, Janayan Devaha Ekaha. Right? So that means this Rudra, here it's very interesting. It says, it's, uh, it has eyes everywhere. Its faces are everywhere, its arms are everywhere, its feet are everywhere. There's only one deity. Okay? Uh, so that while creating heaven and earth conjoins with hands and with wings. So this is a little bit of a poetic language. What you have to see is that Rudra itself is not what one one entity which is what separate from Ishwara. So where there is this Rudra, that's exactly, just as where there is form, that exactly there is Ishwara. Where there is this destruction, which is one aspect, that exactly there is what all knowledge and all power. You can't make it separate. This is the human orientation. We always think that when we name one thing, then we have created separation. So when we name one thing, if we see it as manifestation of the, uh, what uh, one bigger reality, you don't create duality. That is what you have to see. So that means, and you give the right place to everything. So that means that this... Um, Either you can look that the destruction can be done by what? Your hand, my hand, your hand, anywhere, right? The forces of destruction also what? Happen also through human beings. Also happens. Or you can see it as that it, the, the Ishwara is not only destruction. It is what? Much more than the destructive forces. Itself is, is it only destruction? No. It has what? It has the power to create, it has power to sustain and the whole, it is not only in the force, the, uh, the truth of that destructive force which is Ishvara is what much more than the destructive force. So that means uh, the relationship between the uh, given entity, whether it is a human entity or a devata or any inner entity, what is the relationship between Ishvara and that um, entity? While the entity is not independent of Ishvara, Ishvara is what? Free from that entity. So this is what we call Satya Mithya relationship. The easy way to understand Satya Mithya relationship is just simple. This one, table and wood. 
the wood pervades the entire table. Without the wood, there is no possibility of table. You take out the wood and will you have an object called table? Not possible. So can the table say, oh yeah, but you know, I am a table, but if I add one entity called wood, I will be into duality. <laughs> so let me just only stick to table. Your being is in table. How will you ignore table? So therefore, uh, this is now, but what is the relationship between table and wood? The table and wood relationship is, table cannot be without wood, but wood pervading entire table is free from what? Tableness. The table has width, it has length, it has what? Height. <coughs> the wood is free from it. Why? Because you can use the same wood to make something totally different, of different size, different shape, different height, everything different. If it had intrinsic quality of a table, it should always remain a table and not anything else. So that means the form, any form, is not separate from Ishwara, but Ishwara is what? Not only that form. Because otherwise what will happen if Ishwara, as I told you, intrinsically becomes one form, it can't become the other form. Logic. In order for it to be all forms, intrinsically it has to be free from all forms. In order for this wood had to be in 10,000 different uh, shapes, it has to be free from all the shapes. If it was one shape, it can't be other shapes. Intrinsically. So this is why we make a, what, a distinction. Attributes are of two types. Incidental attribute and what? One is an incident and the other one is what? The intrinsic attribute. Intrinsic attribute means something that you have which is you are stuck with it. Incidental attribute means what? You are not dependent on it. You are not, exactly. You are free from it. Right now you seem to have that attribute but intrinsically you are free from it. So that means Ishwara, you know, so that means this uh, Rudra which is a force of destruction, is it an intrinsic attribute of Ishwara or incidental attribute of Ishwara? Incidental. 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 Because Ishwara is also what? Creator. Ishwara is also the sustainer. Itself is none of them. This is why you have to see Rudra as that given power. You can't avoid it. But you also have to see Ishwara as what? Free from this. that. That is how. This is why being everything, Ishwara is free from everything. Otherwise, Ishwara will be loaded with everything. There is a Bhagavad Gita verse which says, Tasya kartaram apimam vidhi akarta avyayam. On one hand, I am as though the doer of everything. The universe is from me. The time is from me. The space is from me. The objects are from me. So, of course, if you see from who I am, but at the same time, I am none of them. I am free. This is how one has to understand Ishwara. Otherwise, if Ishwara will be stuck with war. Ishwara's intrinsic nature will be stuck with war, with violence, because Ishwara is everything. So this is how one has to understand the relationship. Satya Mitya relationship. Mithya cannot exist without Satyam. Satyam is independent of Mithya. That force is what 
uh, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, given uh, Rudra force is what uh, from without Ishwara there is no force. The force is not an intrinsic attribute. So this is what. Um, uh, this is what the verse says. Yeah. Come back this to is the verse. The verse. It seems to have have all these eyes, all these forms, all these legs, and everything, all these feet, everything. But in reality, mm -hmm. while all this is him, mm -hmm. he is free from him. Mm -hmm. See, come back to the verse. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And it seems that he is flying like a bird with wings. But really speaking, it's free from that also. You see? Well, the translation doesn't say it in English, no? Yeah. Free. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, that's the thing, you know, the translation is... It doesn't uh, use the word free anywhere. Yeah. yeah. So, Bahu Nyam Dimati, but is it Janen Ekaha Devaha? So, it seems like Bahu, ba, ba, many Bahu hands, Bahu. many legs, many this thing. But actually, it's only one, which Ekaha. appears to be. Yeah, Ekaha exactly. word. Ekaha. Exactly. Wow, that, didn't get, that didn't get translated somewhere. Right? Yeah, Chanayan Devaha Eka. No, I think it may have one, one deity. deity. Oh, that one deity? Yeah, one deity. Oh, is okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Okay, so now we will see next time. Oh, Purnamada, Purnamidam. Purna, 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 Purna,